Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. And the message I heard from God is there's a story left. And this came to me in a singing voice like there's a story left, something like that. But anyways, the scripture comes from Isaiah 16, 6 through 9. We have heard of Moab's pride. How great is her arrogance of her conceit, her pride and her insolence. But her boasts are empty. Therefore, the Moabites will. They will together for Moab. Lament and grieve for the raisin cakes of Ker Haresif. The fields of Heshbon wither, the vines of Sibma also. The rulers of the nations have trampled down the choicest vines, which once reached Jazar, and spread towards the desert. Their shoots spread out and went as far as the sea. So I weep as Jazer weeps for the vines of Sibma. Okay, so this is a message. I feel like God is saying that this story has not been completed. This story has not ended. So there is someone, um, you are seeing someone who may have been sinning in your eyes, regardless if they have been mistreating you or if they have been, um, and that's what I really feel like it is. They were mistreating you. They were treating you wrong. And they have become very arrogant about the way that they have treated you. Um, God has probably punished them in his own way. He probably has already seek vengeance in his own way. And this person, instead of accepting what God has gave them as vengeance, is continuing to be arrogant and boastful. And, you know, this is, okay, if y'all don't know, narcissistic people are that Jezebel spirit. When that Jezebel spirit starts to receive punishment, when that Jezebel spirit starts to receive judgment, um, a lot of times they, in their mind, they feel bad for a second. And then right after they feel bad, they find some kind of way to seek the blame, put the blame on you. And I feel like this is what you have been going through. Instead of this person, okay, understanding that they are under punishment because of their actions they are instead trying to find some kind of way to cause it to be your fault um like the truth has come to the light everybody sees what they have been doing everybody is now understanding how they have treated you everybody is now looking at them a certain sort of way and instead of accepting the punishment for what they did instead of coming to an understanding I did this to myself because I shouldn't have treated them that way. They are now becoming very prideful, very boastful, very arrogant and saying, this is all your fault because you went around and you told everybody dot, 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 dot. And in some instances, you may not have told anybody anything. They just looked at what happened. They put two and two together and realized that it was them. And a lot of times, this is not the first time that this person has treated somebody this way. And 9 out of 10, this person was not only treating you this way, they were treating these other people this way as well. And now that you were removed, God removed you from that situation, they can't help but to start lashing out at the people around them. And now the people around them are looking at them like it wasn't them the whole time. You kept blaming her. You kept blaming him. And they, it was you. They see it now. They realize now that the whole time, they kept on complaining and they kept on whining and they kept on making up all these lies about you. And it wasn't you, it was them. So now God is saying there's a story left. They're trying, they're still trying to lie. They're still trying to make up little, uh, little lies about you. They're still trying to put BS together, trying to figure out some kind of way that they can push the blame that is deserves to be on them on to you because now people realize what they have been doing to you now people realize how they have been treating you now people realize what really happened why you really left and what's really going on and they mad that's really what it is they are upset and in their minds okay the jezebel spirit cannot stand to be at um at fault in anything the Jezebel spirit refuses to accept that it is their fault. They refuse to accept that they were the one that was wrong. They refuse to accept that this is their punishment for how they treated you. They would prefer 
to make up in their mind some kind of way that it's your fault that they caused this on themselves. You're not even there no more. You haven't talked to them. You haven't spent no time. You haven't put forth no effort to even say anything to them. And here they are still finding some kind of excuse, some kind of way to blame you for something that don't have nothing to do with you. And that's really what it is. God is saying they still trying to lie on you. They still trying. Their fields have withered. The vines of Sibma also, the rulers of the nation, have trampled down the choicest vines, which once reached the Jazar and spread out toward the desert. They have been going through it. This is their punishment for how they treated you. This is their punishment for what they did to you. This is the punishment that they deserve. And instead of them accepting that this is the punishment they deserve, they are sitting around trying to find some kind of way to blame you. Five, five, five. They trying to figure out some kind of way. They just refuse to accept the fact that it's their fault. They And, you know, the sad thing is if they never get to a point where they accept the fact that they caused this on themselves, they're going to forever be in this cycle of fine, being around someone, mistreating that person, uh, doing them wrong. That person finally deciding to get up and leave and love themselves enough to leave them there. And then everybody around them is going to realize once again, it was them. It's going to happen over and over again until they um, swallow their pride, let go of that arrogance and accept the fact that they are wrong for the way that they treated you. And the sad thing is they keep thinking that it's, it has to do with all these other people. How are people going to look at me? What are people going to think? And the Jezebel spirit, lie, they lie so much that they believe their lies. Like this person has lied so much that they now believe their lies. They're not normal like you and I. They can't just look at it and say, you know what? I shouldn't even mess with them. You know what? I did this wrong in that situation. You know what? I, I It is what it is. They can't do that. They can't accept that. They would prefer to keep on pushing the blame on you and pushing the blame on you. And now people are starting to realize it was them the whole time time and now they don't want to accept that they still trying to figure out some kind of way to blame you they trying to pull you back into a situation that you're no longer a part of you you don't have nothing to do with that no more you've moved on with your life you're not even worried about them no more you ain't even thinking about going you don't want to go back okay they steady trying to holler you can't come back well i don't want to see you no more i never want to see you again dot, 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 dot. and you like i don't want to I'm done. You're not even thinking about this person, but they're trying to pull your attention back. They're trying to pull your energy back. They want you back over there so they can have a scapegoat. That's what they want. They want to have somebody to blame for everything that they do wrong. They want to have somebody to blame for everything that goes wrong. When in reality, God is seeking judgment on them, but they don't want to accept that. That No, it can't be that I did something wrong and God is punishing me. They can't just accept a punishment for what it is. They can't just accept that th the fact that they did something wrong. They can't accept the fact that they shouldn't have lied. They can't accept the fact that they shouldn't have um, did whatever it is that they did to you, regardless if they were lying on you. I, for somebody, they were pushing up on you and you rejected them and they started to treat you some kind of way because of it. Um, they may have just uh, started all these rumors about you. And, you know, um, <laughs> some men get upset when they are rejected, regardless to what the situation is. I feel like it was a situation where they shouldn't have been trying to push up on you anyways and got upset because you rejected them. And it's, it's ridiculous. No means no. And it doesn't mean no, but you go ahead and mistreat me and you can bully me until I finally cave in. No. When I said no, I've been no. I'm not interested. And I feel like this person kept trying to pursue you, kept trying to push the issue. And now they mad because they didn't get to, uh, get to, you didn't entertain them. You didn't entertain them to such a sense that she was like, okay, I'm going to move out the way. I'm going to just, I'm going to just go. I'm going to just go. Regardless if you left the job. 
you left the area, you left the neighborhood, you moved out, whatever it is, you was like, okay, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. And now they're mad because they, they did, their advances didn't work. They're mad. They were turned down. And now on top of them being turned down, they're getting receiving punishment for how they treated you. They're receiving punishment for everything that was going on. And they probably then turned around and started treating somebody else this way where they looked at it like, hold on. Is this what you were treating them like this whole time? Is this what you were doing this whole time? Is that the reason? It has come to the light and they are not happy about that. But that's not, it's, it's okay. There's a, a story left, so they're still trying to lie. But that's okay. They're going to lie again, and God is going to seek punishment again. You don't even have to worry about it. They're going to lie again, and they're going to receive punishment all over again because God already told them to leave you alone. You didn't already left the situation. You don't have nothing to do with that, and that is that. Okay? I see why God told me to put my Savage shirt on today. God's good. Okay? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.